what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk so guys I want to talk about um, LeBron James and LeBron James your brothers know I have a lot of respect for him I don't agree with uh, a lot of the brothers political stances but nonetheless I believe he's a great player he is a great uh, model for staying with his wife and doing things in the black community I love that about our brother and LeBron James has been accused of being buck broken and that that falls in line with what has occurred with commentaries from Shaquille O'Neal uh Charles Barkley which they call Kyrie Irving idiots and so and so it, then it came to LeBron let me just tell you guys something right Kyrie Irving is the reason that Ime Udoka didn't get that job. All right? Because if Kyrie Irving would not have shared the Amazon link, the issue with Kyrie Irving is what stopped Ime Udoka from getting the job? Because Ime Udoka, that was already a problem. But having both problems and then this whole, you know, people being mad at the Nets for that suspension, that's what really stopped Ime Udoka from coming. And I want to tell you guys something also as black men, when you want to decide you want to make a stand for something, you better make sure it don't affect others around you. Because what Kyrie Irving did, it affected others around him. It affected LeBron. Okay? Let me tell you how. Kyrie shared the link. Everybody in the NBA started getting heat because of Kyrie. Kevin Durant was afraid to say anything. LeBron James. Okay? Everybody. So whatever they said, people were going to come out on either side. And that's what I'm telling brothers. If you're going to make a stand, make sure that you don't mess it up for somebody else. So what LeBron came out and had to say is he had to condemn it. Everybody started seeing that LeBron was bug broken and all this other stuff. Again, you would never want to risk losing your personal wealth because of somebody else. So I understand why he did it. But now LeBron had to come out when the time was right. And I believe after being asked if he can do so, he makes a statement. The statement is this. I told you guys that I don't believe in sharing hurtful information. And I continue to be that way. But Kyrie apologized and she should be able to play. That's what I think. It's that simple. Help him learn. But he should be playing. What he's asked to do to get back on. The floor, I think, is excessive, in my opinion. He's not the person that's being portrayed of him. Anyways, back to my rehab session. Now, largely, I believe this is what's going on. Um, one, LeBron has to respond to keep some kind of credibility in the black community. Because it seems like LeBron has deferred to um, Jews, the Jewish community, in this sense. But now, in this sense, here's a situation where he's trying to get some of that credibility back by issuing this statement in the behalf on the behalf of Kyrie. And you're seeing more black players do that, right? But here's the situation. We have seen how you rich athletes, rich entertainers, rappers included, who really controls the purses. Okay. We've seen that. I think a lot of things that a lot of these guys are trying to get in personal wealth tied to the industries that you don't run, it's going to run aloof. The guys who control these athletes can make or break their day. Look what Nike said, Phil Knight, that Kyrie Irving is suspended indefinitely, indefinitely. We're never going to release his shoes. Think about that. Th this is... Nothing in comparison to what Kanye West was doing. But because of what Kanye West did and the tolerance for situations like this, they smacked his ass quickly. Your shoes are never coming out here again on Nike. Lose the contract based on that. Want to play in the NBA? You're doing these things. And also, Kyrie's problematic. So, of course, he doesn't make matters worse for himself, better for himself. Okay. But I want you brothers to really look at the power plays and what kind of man you need to be. This is why you need to work with your black men. If you think that you're going to be like, I ain't going to deal with our people. I'm going to go out here and deal with these folks. 
Okay, see what happens. Remember Damon John? Damon John was uh, really praising Farrakhan after uh, a sermon he gave for a funeral. And what happened? The untouchable community made him repent. How dare you? He was he was forgiving on a apology tour all on Twitter. Oh, my stepfather is Jewish and all that, right? Everything else. You should want to be independent like they are. You have to think like them. The people who you feel are more successful, have more power than you. Um, why why are you always subjugated to 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 to, to, to that? Why don't you believe in yourself? Why don't you have belief in your people? That's the difference between, I would say, the uh, untouchable community, as Umar refers to, and us, is they believe in their people. They believe in fixing their people. They invest in their people. They educate their people. They hold their people to a standard that we will never do because everything in black America is okay to do. You want to be a baby mama in black America? It's fine. It's okay. Give you. We'll give you a... Um, um, a baby shower. You want to come and weave and sound it up? You want to go and shoot up the whole hood? It's no problem. Free my N-word. It's good. Like, free Pookie. Free Day Day. Free Young Thug. Free Gunner. It's okay. Yes. All of them. Any kind of behavior. You know, I was in, um, I was in Rondo one day, hanging out in Chigali, okay? And I, I, I was there at a cultural, they were speaking, I believe the language is Kenya Rondo, okay? They were speaking at a, there was a, a, a concert, open mic concert. And the people were speaking and they were doing their cultural dance. It was all men that were singing. And the love that was in the crowd for these people who love their music in there. I could not imagine how that would happen in black America without somebody getting their ass whooped or something might popping off. Now it could happen, but it, 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 you know, it's who knows, possibly. And your upper elite Clark crowd. But other groups have respect for their people, for their culture, for where they come from. You know, we have people that disrespect leaders and stuff and uh, Harriet Tubman and all that kind of crap and say bad things and nasty things about Martin Luther King. And you say nasty things on all of you who talk about Malcolm X. I, I, I just, you know, how are you going to attain power for a group when there are no rules? Complaining when you don't have rules. These other groups have standards for their people and we don't and we and we and we're subjugated because of our own thinking and we don't want to do the work. So now we're begging all the time because we're too we're too, you know, um nihilistic in our thinking to think about all the opportunities the black world has, Africa has, black America has. We can start making uh, money and helping our brothers and reinvesting in our communities with our own money. We don't even think about nothing like that. We are so, ha we hate our people so much, but then we hate for other folks to take advantage of the fact that we hate our people, that we're already divided and conquered and we just as human as them. So how can they have an advantage over us if we want to change it? But we don't. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. Another episode of The Slurry Drunk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. I'm out.